Hello, I'm Tip Squirrel from tipsquirrel.com and in this video I'm going to stack and auto blend images of varying focus points. What you see here is our finished picture, but each figure is focused individually. Let's go over to Adobe Bridge to see what I mean. Here you can see all four of the images that were blended together. If I click one of the images we can see the metadata and see that each shot was taken at f7.1. In this clip you can see how I set up the shot. I had intended for the lamp to illuminate the scene but as it was a window did a pretty good job so I used it as a little fill and backlight. The figures are standing on a glass placemat and are carefully placed to line up with the autofocus within the camera. The camera is on a tripod and I shot with a remote cable. As you can see from this footage, I don't have the steadiest of hands. OK, back in Bridge and I click the first image and hold Shift and click on the last one to select them all. Then it's up to the menu and choose Tools, Photoshop and then Load Files into Photoshop Layers. One by one the layers are brought into Photoshop. Once they're in, I'm going to use a great new feature of CS5. With a layer selected, I go to the menu and choose Filter and Lens Correction. Photoshop has recognized the lens I'm using and will adjust the image accordingly. So I'm going with the defaults here and click OK. Next, I use the same Shift click I did in Bridge to select all the layers. So click and Shift click. Next, it's up to the menu and choose Edit Auto Align Layers. Auto is fine for this. So I click OK. Photoshop analyzes the images and aligns them. Next we need to blend them together. So menu again and edit auto blend layers. Normally I'd uncheck seamless tones and colors as I don't want Photoshop to blend too much of the outer focus bits. But in this case I get some funky backgrounds if I don't. So in this case I'll have it checked. Make sure Stack Image is selected and press OK. This can be quite a long process, so I'll pop the kettle on and meet you back here once it's done. OK, there we are. Let's do a little crop on that and add a Levels Adjustment. And there we are, four selective focus images into one. I'm Tip Squirrel for tipsquirrel.com, the free website where we're all nuts about Photoshop. Come join me on Twitter and Facebook and please check out all the nuts who generously give their time and expertise to the site. Thanks for bearing with me. See you next time.